In this video, we are going to see how to deploy a Django application with Elastic Beanstalk. Right now, the application is running on a local machine. We will be using AWS EB CLI to deploy our Django application. To start with this, we need to configure our environment and the Django project and install some of the libraries. If you, uh, if you are familiar with Django project, we do create a virtual environment. In my case, the virtual environment is e-commerce. I assume that you already have the have a Django project running onto one of your virtual environments and have a couple of libraries installed as per the project requirements. To deploy using Elastic Beanstalk, we do need to have one more library which is called as AWS EB CLI. To install this library, you need to just write the command pip3 install AWS EB CLI since i already have the library installed it is it says requirement already satisfied okay so to activate your virtual environment this is how it's going to look my virtual environment is e-commerce and right now i'm inside the virtual environment to start our deployment uh, go to the go to the project where you have the all where you have all the apps and the project details Make sure that you are in the folder which contains the manage.py in this location you need to create one directory called as eb extensions you can simply create this directory by using the command mkdir.eb extensions when you run this command it's going to create a directory since i already have one i won't be doing it again if i want to do this directory i can say ls hyphen larth when you put LARTH, it is going to show you the hidden folders as well. So if you see, this is the library, this is the directory that I've created. Let's go inside this directory. Inside this directory, you have a config file. You need to create this config file. Let's look at the contents of this config file. Open this file here. You need to copy the entire eight lines of this config onto your system as well. Let me explain you what happens in this file. This is the part where the Elastic Beanstalk is looking for your application and it is understanding that you need to deploy a Python application onto the container using Elastic Beanstalk on the AWS platform. In this, in this line, on third line, it's important to see that uh, we are mentioning the name of the project here along with wsgi colon application make sure you change this part uh, to the name of your project the next part is setting up the django settings module which we do that by putting the name of the project dot settings this is the settings.py inside this file the next part is quite important these two lines are the ones that are going to help you render your css once the deployment is complete so make sure you have this uh, don't miss any slash and put it in the way it is so that the css will render once you deploy your application so this is the django.config file which we need to configure at this particular location the next part is you need to deactivate uh, your virtual environment and we are going to do that by writing this command after this we can start our deployment process so we need to create an application that we need to uh, deploy right so the command to create an application is eb init hyphen p python hyphen 3.7 you need to mention the version and space you put the name of your app so it's up and go app since this is an application and you click on enter it says application has been created right now we need this application uh, to be deployed on an environment right since this is Django environment it should create an environment to create an environment you read you type ed eb create and then the name of the environment so let's say shop and go environment right let's click on create let's click enter so it has it's saying creating application version archive and it's uploading our application uh, on this environment okay so this might take a little while so let's wait a couple of minutes. So right now, if you see some of the data is getting uh, displayed here, the C name is unknown. So our C name is going to be the name which we need to 
which is where the users can access it so it says create environment is starting let's wait for a couple of more minutes so the environment is created so if you see it says successfully launched environment shop and go environment an application available at this particular link okay so let's say if we type eb status we get the details of the environment so this is the name this is our environment name this is the application that we just created it gives us the region as well right so this is the default region you can change it as well and the important part that we need to take is the c name so let's copy this and keep it with us copy this now let's go to our aws elastic beanstalk service so come over here yeah, so this is the elastic so this is the elastic beanstalk service uh, make sure that the region is us west 2 which we saw in the status let's do a refresh all right on environments all right so this so this is the environment okay this is the environment and this is the name of the app that was created so let's click on this environment it says it's the health is okay so this is very quite important once this is there you know that your application and the environment is configured correctly okay the next part is go back to a cli just type eb open And it will create it is going to go to that uh, url that you uh, create that that it showed as the c name and if you see it says disallowed host at http host header you may need to add this particular host into your allowed host okay so this is this is important and then that's what we need to do now so go back to your code go back go to your settings.py into your project so this is this uh, this is the project and it's the settings.py Right. So inside this, go to your allowed host and go and find where you can see allowed host. Come over here, put a comma, add this, and save. All right, and I save it. Okay. If you have made a change to the project, you need to deploy this again. So let's type the command eb deploy. And now it's creating another version archive and it's deploying our latest application back onto the environment. So let's wait for this to happen. All right, so the deployment is complete and it says your environment update completed successfully. Let's do EB open again. All right, so our host has been accepted by the environment, but now the new error that we get is called we cannot connect to the MySQL server, which is this server, and the name of service is not known. That is because we, did, we have not configured our database onto this particular environment. So for this video let's stop here so this is how you do the deployment this is the configuration that you need to do and you need to make sure this health is green and your application is updated the settings.py is updated and you get this particular error on your django application if you have your databases okay so in the next video i'm going to show you how to connect how to configure database onto this particular environment that we just created all right i'll see you in the next video Oh, 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 oh,